Well, Pep, a game that probably could have gone either way, but the way you started, you must have been disappointed you, you didn't go on to build on the 1-0 the lead. Yes, I think so, because I think we did start very bright. It was the third game this week, and and it's not easy that for the players, but the way we started first, that, um, the whole game, I think we did a, a superb job defensively and, and breaking on them. But when we started, we played very bright uh, with the ball, created a lot of quick attacks and put... Uh, a lot of difficulties to their defence. Uh, we more focused on on creating problems and attack uh, than on on moving the ball and keep the ball and wait for that chance to happen. I think we we were very dangerous in the beginning of the game and we got we got ahead, but possibly uh, we should have gone more than one goal ahead uh, in the beginning. But in the end of the day, then they came back on the game and then. The game is difficult, but I think both sides offered a fantastic display in the first half and second half is a typical second half after three games for both sides and everything was a little bit more, a little bit dirtier and, and the game was a little bit closed, but I think we managed to see it out and and we took a point that helped us to to keep our run of being unbeaten and, and, and it's a massive, I think, in the end of the day when you compare how we played today and, and how we were when we played them in the beginning of the season, I think it's a massive improvement and we're just heading on the right direction and, and every point is welcome. In that opening quarter, there were some lovely combinations, some really good football and, and the goal itself was a, was a fantastic move, wasn't it? Yes, I think so. I, I think we developed um, developed attacks very well on the left uh, with Jude and Christian and very well on the right with, with Bella and Maxim and Juki and Scott. Um, God has always a threat in the middle so we could always finish attacks back in the, into the middle I think it worked it worked all very well um, in the first um, in the first half uh, on the second half obviously we were a little bit more 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 tired after all the effort this week but in the end I think um, I think we did create enough chances uh, to especially the first half to be ahead but you take the result as it is because in the end of the day is a, a team that is fighting for top two and, and they just show that the, the level of focus that it's required. Mm -hmm. You mentioned Brentford as we know are a very good side and, and they are a team that with their movement and their running they, they always create chances and when those chances did come Lee Camp was in excellent form and, and you defended very well as well. Yes of course in the end of the day everything needs to, to work as a team. I think the strikers there helped uh, a lot to avoid uh, the midfielder to, f to be comfortable then we stopped any ball to Watkins directly in between lines and they look a lot for that and so we knew that they had to turn the game out wide and at wide we try always to a number to minimize the problems that Benarama and Marcondes would create and in the end of the day we knew that uh, they have football enough to end up um, putting us under the rope uh, against the ropes but that's uh, I think Lee Campi sort it out very well and the whole team they managed to put a defensive display that put a massive condition into Brentford to feel um, uncomfortable attacking. And with five minutes to go, um, what looked like a handball to most people in the stadium wasn't given as a penalty. What, what were your thoughts on that? Well, it's a very clear, clear handball. They the the handball allows them to get the control, stop that play, and get the control of the ball, and it's a clear handball. In my opinion, in my opinion. And a word about Scott Hogan, obviously had to come off, looked like a, a whack to the ankle, I believe. Uh, we need to assess him uh, a little this week, but Scott Hogan is a strong player and and and, and I'm sure that uh, he will be back with us, you know, and, and he's used to this kind of situations, he's strong, has a strong ankles and we've got to work very hard to, to assess it. Let's see if we can get it back uh, for this weekend. And a word, if I may, about Gary Gardner. Um, it's been a real feature in, in recent weeks. He's driving performances from midfield. How pleased have you been with him? Very pleased overall with the whole team and with Gary because he understands we work a lot before Luton game because the way that we, we're developing as a team, that situation will happen a lot and I'm very happy that he is in his nature. He's driving the ball, he gets very dangerous, has a lot of confidence, gets forward and starts, breaks the line, starts a break. Mm -hmm. And that, that's something that helps us to connect them with wingers and with strikers. And the fact that now we have Juki and Hogan working together, it makes it even more dangerous. So very pleased for him. I mean, <clears throat> he's worked very hard the whole season and now he's enjoying a, a very sweet moment. And that's on our favour and we need to keep using that. Mm -hmm. Off the back of a very tough week, uh, you know, you're on a, still on a very good run, 10 unbeaten now. 
there's that determination to, to keep it going. Yes, absolutely, and never say never, and, and work every game like it's the last one, and now refocus again, put uh, all our mentality into our next game, uh, prepare the game very well, prepare a good game plan, prepare very good trainings, uh, the players keep up the same mentality with, with work, training, being very professional, being very focused on, on the team, and, and going again on next game, see what we get.